evening filled with fun, surprises, and magic. Slava Snow Show has been delighting audiences worldwide for two decades, and now those creative clowns are winning new fans in South Florida. Tonight, we take you on stage and backstage as Local 10 presents Celebrating Slava. We're just minutes away from showtime. Hi, I'm MJ Acosta here at the Adrian Arch Center where excitement is building. But before we take you to the performance, let's go inside where I can show you exactly what it takes to deliver one of the most unique theater experiences in the world. Let's go. It's a cross between Cirque du Soleil and the Blue Man Group. Slava Snow Show combines comedy, music, magic, mind, and of course, snow to provide a unique and unforgettable theatrical experience. Clowns are the stars of this show, but long before they hit the stage, there's plenty of preparation behind the scenes. The Slava Snow Show performers and crew arrived at the Adrian Arch Center after their successful run in Rio de Janeiro and Monterrey, Mexico. They travel light, so it didn't take long to load the sets, props, equipment, and costumes into the theater. But remember, it's a clown show, so the work is really fun, like preparing for the snow part of the show. They cut paper into confetti, which is used as a snow, and I unexpectedly got involved in the process. It takes a while to clap it, so we need to play with it a bit. <laughs> so this is encouraged, the fluffier the better. Right? <laughs> no. I was like, no, don't do it. <laughs> and it's snowing in Miami. Slava Snow Show was created 20 years ago in Moscow by Russian-born clown Slava Palunin, who had performed up until then with Cirque du Soleil. Slava was a regular performer in the show's lead role until recently. But now he usually stays behind the scenes overseeing things. The stage role he created, that of an elderly clown in a baggy yellow outfit, is played by Artem Gino during the show's Miami run. It is very emotional for me and uh... This uh, personage, this character is like a fairy tale from my child, childhood. So when I saw it the first time, I couldn't forget. And uh, of course, I, it was like a dream. While the Slava character is the lead clown, some of his sidekicks have large roles in this entourage as well, bringing joy, mischief and surprises to the show. The performers continually stomp, shuffle and sing their way in and out of trouble. The grown people. Uh, they become the child. The child who are watching us, they find this is their world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The clowns are loving every minute of it too, and they feel grateful to do this for a living. As a performer it's in this show, every day is different. We're, we have enough room for improvisation, and every audience, it's not just paying lip service, is the, you know, the, the, the fifth cast member. Uh, every audience creates part of the energy for us. One of the things that makes Lava Snow Show so unique is the audience participation, and there is plenty of it. If you sit in the lower level of the theater, be prepared for snow, mist, and a few surprises. We went into it not knowing what it was going to be, and it blew us away. Right. It's fun for the audience, and even for the performers who live it night after night. It's a unique experience. It's just so beautiful, and and. and you know, it makes, how many times, I've seen it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times and it still makes me cry. You know, I can watch that and just be overcome. That, that is just unheard of. You know, if you're, if you're in a show and you're, and you're playing the same, the same show over and over and over again for years, almost eight years I've been playing, and I can still watch that scene and just be filled with emotion. There are about 17 members of the cast and crew from Russia, Slava's home, and all around the world. Anna Hanakanen is the Slava company manager. We have um, Oleg, we already met him, Hardest from New York, uh, yeah. hello. hard work. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Bradford, Bradford is from uh, Las Vegas. Nice. Yeah. And, and we have Vanya. Hiding. Vanya is hiding. Oh, we hiding. Oh, there is Vanya. <laughs> Vanya, we don't know Vanya, where is Vanya where from, he's from because he's uh, everywhere. 
Then we a have... Shy clown. I've never met a shy clown before. The show delights in not keeping up with the times. The comedy is a throwback to silent movie comic actors like Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton and the comedy team of Laurel and Hardy from the first half of the 20th century. The music is an unusual mix of old and classical tunes. No popular songs here. Instead, it's from a collection of Slava's favorite songs over the years. This music never you get you never get tired of this music. We listen for this music uh, every day. We listen twice a day during the show. We rehearse, and it's you never get tired of it. Everybody starts singing it. Because it was the music that Slava chose uh, with his heart. It's simple, sentimental, and yet sensational. And audiences continue to pack the theater night after night all over the world. There are no words spoken in this show, only a few utterances and music, so it translates just fine anywhere they perform. The ideas are timeless and universal, whether in Russia, where it all started, or here in Miami, where five years after it last hit the stage, Slava Snow Show is back. Well, the great thing about Slava Snow Show, it's perfect for all ages, eight and up. So if you haven't seen the show before, it's perfect for a date night. It's perfect to bring the family out. It's perfect to bring the abuela and sort of come and really experience something that you haven't seen before. So it's great theater. It's huge spectacle. And it's a story about finding the, the inner child in all of us and sort of bringing that out. So there you have a little taste of what this show is all about. Well, we're getting closer to showtime here at the Adrian Arch Center. So up next, a day in the life of a clown. We'll meet Slava's family of clowns, and I'll show you what it takes to really be one of them. Celebrating Slava is coming right back. Welcome back to Celebrating Slava. We're just minutes away from showtime here, and I'm backstage with two of the cast members, which are children and grandchildren of Slava. Many of the cast members are, but some have been welcomed into the family. When you work in show business, your cast members often become your stage family. For the cast and crew of the Slava Snow Show, the family act isn't an act at all. Many of them are directly related to Slava himself. Vanya Palunin is one of Slava's sons. He plays the part of one of the green clowns, causing mischief throughout the show. He's playful and laid back, which comes in handy when it's time to work with his niece, eight-year-old Mia, who's also part of the act. What is she asking you? Oh, what's next? Yeah. For this family, the stage is an art imitating life. The stage is their life. It's so normal for us. Like it's, it's really, it's not a job, so it's part of life. So it's like breathing. So you don't feel that it's strange or weird. It's like everybody's like, oh, she's so small. She's on stage. You're like, yeah. <laughs> What's the problem? What's the big deal? Vanya got his start at an early age as well. His first major performance was working on Cirque du Soleil, just like his father. But his debut came long before he ever wore a costume or makeup. So they would just like tie a rope to my leg and to something backstage so I wouldn't like <laughs> run away or something. So once, I think I couldn't walk yet. I was crawling, I was butt naked. <laughs> and uh, the rope got untied and I crawled on the stage. Naked? Yeah. Naked baby on the stage? Yeah. That's just one of years worth of anecdotes among this showbiz family. But not everyone is in the limelight. Vanya's brother Dmitry Ushakov takes a different role as part of the stage crew. But even those who aren't directly related become part of the family right away. I'm very happy to, to be really the part of the family. I feel like this. And Slava helps me a lot in my life. Artem Zhino has the most visible role in the Slava Snow Show, playing the main character, the Yellow Clown. 
but he plays another role in this family as he refers to himself as Slava's art son. He even shares some of the family traditions they've adopted while on the road. In New York, we start to do the traditional um, full film festival. So everybody <laughs> make the movie and we do like a word. Oh, it never feels like a job. No. It's, uh, you know, we're making people laugh for a living. We're really lucky. Bradford West also feels lucky. He joined the cast eight years ago after majoring in theater at the University of Massachusetts. He lives in New York now, but travels the world making people happy. I've been working almost for eight years with the show and I I wouldn't go back for anything. I mean, it's just, it's the biggest joy uh, that I can imagine. And it's the biggest joy to have such a job that gives other people joy. Whether linked by blood or by the stage, one thing is clear. These clowns may joke around on stage, but they take their family business to heart. So we've heard a lot about what it takes to be a clown, but I don't think you can really know until you transform. So. I grabbed Brett, Vanya, and Dima, and they're going to transform me into one of the Slava clowns. Let's get to work, guys. I feel like it's going to take a little while, right? Eek. In minutes, my glam squad set me up with my new wardrobe. It's a Versace. Right. Custom, for the record. And your shoes. Then I put my face in the very capable hands of the Slava clowns and let them begin what I thought would be a drastic and lengthy transformation. Surely just as rigorous as my hour-long morning makeup routine, right? But you can transform into a clown in three minutes. That's amazing. I'm switching careers. Although it's a relatively simple process, there is a method to the madness. Well, it kind of started because I was always late when we were <laughs> performing in New York. So I would come to the theater 10 minutes before the show. Oh no. Because I would wake up 20 minutes before the show. Oh my gosh. And uh, that's why I got really good at doing it really fast. Until finally, it was time for my big reveal. Oh my god, that's all. That was really easy. That's it. Local 10 News in the morning. This is what you will see from now on, I guarantee you. I kind of thought it was going to be like a plastic mask. What do you think? And when you wake up in the morning without makeup, you always look better. <laughs> That's questionable. That is questionable. It's fun playing dress up and all, but I think I'll leave the theatrics to the professionals. Up next, the fan experience. Find out what it's like to watch Slava Snow Show from spectators who got more than they bargained for.